Well, we now have Reena and Harit Talwar joining us from New York. They've been supporters of the AIF for a long time. Harit is the co-chair of the American India Foundation. Um, you've been in the U.S. so long. Why does India and the well-being of its people matter to you so much in the manner that it does? I'm a proud Indian, although we live in the U.S., but I feel still very proud to be an Indian. And I am, uh, when I, uh, but I, we cannot ignore the fact that India has got such deep-rooted structural poverty. There is so much inequality in India. And I think what AIF do, is doing is amazing work. I, we have had the privilege of visiting some of these communities. And when I see the inequality, it really, uh, I, I feel very assured by AIF's work that what we are doing is not just trying to put a bandaid on their problems, but we are trying to uh, uplift the communities by education and health reforms. AIF does a fantastic job of it. And we, uh, we feel that this is eventually what is going to bring, bring on the change in the communities going forward. That's wonderful to hear that. Those words were very uh, inspiring. You know, as you said, we have seen suffering, but now let's think about the positive. <clears throat> that in that they have they're back in their villages. They have a chance to re <clears throat> rebuild their lives and and regain what they've lost. How do we ensure that rebuilding of lives actually happens? We migrated from India to the U.S. And I feel blessed as a mother that we were able to give the best possible opportunities to our kids with this migration. Unfortunately, the migrant community in India does not have the privilege. Their, their kids' education is interrupted. Their healthcare gets neglected because of this migration pattern. AIF does a phenomenal job of trying to give the continuity for the kids' education, so that hopefully in the future, they are also able to lead privileged lives. Um, you know, uh, as my wife said, every human being migrates for better opportunities. It's not fair that they have to make trade-offs between their economic opportunities and their family's well-being. Therefore, for all of us, it is very important to support the migrant communities, because through that, we will support our overall societies. Uh, Harit, you have a very large audience watching the show, both in India and the US. What would you like to say to them? You know, today, all of us in India, in the US, around the world, these are very, very trying times, very challenging times. And, uh, the pandemic is really testing us as a race. And in this period, I want to have my core message is of optimism and hope. We can prevail, we shall prevail. We shall use this as an opportunity for reflection, an opportunity for galvanizing ourselves, an opportunity for further accelerating the sustainable change that we want to bring about in our societies. And this will not happen just by words, this will happen by each one of us taking the responsibility of doing something ourselves. Whatever it may be, whether it is contributing in this telethon today or whether it is any other shape or form, this is a moment of optimism and hope that, yes, we will drive positive change. Uh, both my wife and I are blessed to participate in this telethon. We want to thank all the various people who've supported it. And we would like to do a small part by matching the next $50,000 which get contributed to make the impact larger. 